Hello, Erwin. It is time we have another talk. To discuss the ongoing situation. So you went all that way for a race that wasn't even in that town. Yeah, me brother and I weren't that bright. <sighs> You're lucky you got found after you threw your only food into the water. Yeah, I guess I lost my shit in that moment. Lost control. <sighs> does that happen often? Well, it does. Losing your control? Hmm. We both know that answer. Has there been another time you lost your control? Well, there was this one time where a bartender had the fucking shits with me. I swear, he was on me for just no good fucking reason. Sir, I can't serve you another drink. If you keep asking, we have to remove you from the building. He was screaming at me, but I couldn't make out a word he was saying. I was only there because I wanted to look out for Mum. She was off having the time of her life, out with the red flags, looking for a new bloke to fuck. <laughs> what? I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Sugar Mama wanted Sugar Daddy ever since Darren left. But this bartender really had the shits of me. I think he was upset that I was wearing me thongs in the club or something along those lines. You wore a G-string to a club? No, or meant me flip-flops, me shit. Oh, just forget it. Sir, we're peacefully asking you to leave with security. Next minute, security shows up once a fight. So I gave them what they wanted. Come here! You want to fucking go turn? I'll fuck you and your dad, you shit! Come here! Where's the rest of you? Oh, fellas, please wait. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm just hitting up, fellas. Come on. Let me in. You want to go? You want to show me you're a real fucking man? Open the fucking door, you cunt. Fucking pussy. Come on, pussy. I'll open up. Oh, give it up already, Winnie. Mum was not happy. Like when you stole a car for a race as a kid? Yeah, but she was just, you know, a little more upset than usual. <laughs> Why did you have to start a fight? Because they fucking wanted one. Oh, no more fault. It's never your fault, is it, Winnie? Because these cunts want to fucking fight. It's not my fault that they pick on me. I wish I'd raised you better. Wish you wouldn't always find an excuse for everything you do. Oh, I wish I raised you better. I've heard this story a thousand times. I'm always looked for red flags. Shitty men. All I wanted was for her to be happy. I felt like all I did was piss her off and I felt like she saw me as a burden. I'm sure she still loved you, D. Well... We were meant to just go home, taking the bus, because for some reason, Mum wasn't trusting my driving. Mum had been in the dumps a few weeks prior, and that night, I think she finally got sick of me. Oh, you done yet? <laughs> You're the one that fucking started it. I can't be fucked. I'm just going to walk home. Winnie, wait up. Don't leave me here alone. Oh, I thought you wanted to be alive. Winnie! Nah, don't fucking win in me, you piece of shit. Ugh. Why don't you just fuck off? I feel like you'd be happier if I wasn't in your life. Why don't I just get out of the picture then? 
didn't come home that night. As far as I'm aware, she slept at the bus stop waiting for that bus that never came. She slept there all night. As far as you're aware? Yeah. I was angry at her. I was worried I was going to do something to her. The thoughts were in my head and I didn't like it, so I just left. Where is your mom now? Oh. It's okay, Dee. I used to think about something she said to me as a kid. She always tried to drill it into my head. What'd she say? She always asked me, How do you open a closed fist? Your leader has been lying to you. The person you trusted most to lead us to success has been hiding his demons this entire time. Dundee is loyal to a man named Norman Bones and has kept this a secret from all of you. He has been working for Norman to create problems specifically within this club. He will happily Put his own life above yours. And he wanted to kill my father. <clears throat> you became everything that I feared. And that was all about you. <sighs> you became everything you hated. You failed every task I gave, but this even I couldn't anticipate. Your entire existence was determined by your legacy, your club, built purely to ensure a future. They have removed you and is attempting to erase your very existence. Just finish me. Just give me what I want. Just let this end. Oh, Erwin. You think you get closure? You truly think after all of this you deserve some ending, happy or not? What are you doing? Each end dies like you can't. What are you trying to achieve? I have no fear. I've got nothing to lose anymore. Did you get the results you wanted? No, I'm still here. You thought fighting me would take you back? I don't want to go back. I want to go to the ocean where it's quiet. No voices. Hmm. You want your journey to end here? Do I still have a journey to continue? You don't. You don't have a journey to continue, but as foolish as you were, and as much as you were hated by your quote-unquote family, some of your members disagree with the actions of Barry and Colin. Those few will happily take a blind deal for your return. You fucking cunt! I will travel back and seek a use for my latest tools, and you will be a very nice reward. Why would you let me die? You haven't completely lost all your usefulness. You yourself cannot do anything to further achieve my ambitions, but some of your idiot family members will blindly do anything to assist your return. Is that mum? He's
Hello, my son. How are you here? I wish I knew the answer to how all this works, Winnie. But I've been watching you. Watching you on your adventures. Oh. You saw what I became. You saw me turn into a monster. I did, Winnie. I'm sorry. Wait, you are? For not changing. Oh, but I think you've changed. Into a murderer? A shitty son? <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> At least you're honest. Why did you turn into this? I felt like I failed you. I felt like our family amounted to nothing. I was the only one left to make it into something. My brother is gone. Taryn is God knows where. My sister, probably with him. I wanted our name to mean something. Anything, anything other than a name on a clipboard with no relatives to report the death to. I became something. I had so much, so much more I thought I could have. I made a name, a new family. One that shared my ambitions. I got to experience my wildest of dreams. I was the underdog, yet I made it as a leader. With some of the best people I've ever met. Then I met the man that took it all away from me. And I became his tool. And you started with me? Is unbroken through words that are unspoken. I feel him in my bones, and he won't let me go. I'm shackled until he lets me die. Hi, what failed you? I took your life, and for what? I want to make you mean something. The denim. The beach. Everything you loved will be in the history books. He lives in but you're here now. It's like oh, yeah. Only oh, did you win? I didn't. It's over now. I've got nothing. They betrayed me. You told them about our story, right? I never did. Even if I've returned, how do I trust my family? Look what they did. It's simple, Winnie. How do you release a closed fist? Do you use the other hand and just pause it open? No. You let it go. You relax. Why can't you do that more often? I guess I'm cursed. And he won't let me go. Goodbye, Erwin. His promises aren't